just <laughs> squish. Yeah, see, you're on the same thought. You could crush your head. Yeah, just the whole body just pick you up. Just become a people jelly. All right, I'm not running that all the way back. I don't care. I'm teleporting. I'm lazy. Don't like running through the fire. Because knowing me, I will fall in the lava quite a bit. And that will be frustrating. Oh, Fragger, I keep forgetting to tell you, man. Like you dropped in last week or something. And I forgot to tell you, I liked your stream with the, uh, your Shadow of Mortar stream with the orc that cracked me up. And then I was going to mention to you, like, hey, man, you should experiment with uh, some voice filters and stuff with it. And then your next stream, you did, but you didn't have your, your orc overlay or whatever. And it, it made me laugh. I don't know if you realized that until after stream or if you did that on purpose. But then I started thinking about it, like, I actually liked your normal... Hello. I just frog back voice, where you were just making your own voice without the filter, with your webcam replacement. Because for some reason, it fit and it cracked me up. I really like that, man. That was a great idea. Yeah, uh, Jada's is a pit bull. Mama's is an Amstaff. And yes, people all, a lot of people, the Pipples have a bad rap. And that's actually another part of my channel is uh, disproving a lot of that. Uh, the myths and stuff with them. Uh, they are wonderful dogs. Jada wouldn't hurt anyone. Like, if she's going to kill you, she's going to lick you to death. Hey, look what we found. <laughs> yep, I love them. They are my happy hippos. Um... Yeah, Mama's I adopted. Jada's I had since she's uh, was almost nine weeks old. Uh, she, she's my little girl. Oh, it's the tiny traveler. You know, but tell me all about your help, brother. Here's a reward for you. It's a piece of gear. Really? Really? Now I have six of those. Okay, then. Well, I took my painkiller, so I guess it's time to meet up with Yonobu. I mean, no res disrespect to Daruk's legacy, but if I'm not there to give the Rudani a good walloping... Daruk, are you really telling me you don't know about Daruk, the Goron champion? See? That statue up there? That's Daruk. Turns around. <laughs> We're just happy with their excitement for pets. Heck yeah. Yeah. Birch knows. Birch knows for sure. Your friend has a pit bull and he's just... I love them, man. They're freaking wonderful dogs. And, like, there's so many stories about them, like... Coming from dog fighting rings and stuff. Like, you guys, if you know anything about the Vic dogs, a lot of them actually became therapy animals. Which is amazing, like... I think I'm finally getting hold on, the we'll, we'll the let the video play. I tell you what, sure is a blast piloting a toy like this around. I'm just stretching let out. those other champions know, they better eat their gravel if they want to keep up with the roof. Eat their gravel. Speaking of which, can you believe this cue? Just look at all those delectable rocks sprinkled on those mountains. Mighty tasty. I may not know a whole lot about this Calamity Ganon thing, but mark my words, I'll protect this land of ours to the death. Right, little guy? <laughs> Ow. Just knocked out six vertebrae. Hey, by the way, congrats on becoming the princess's appointed knight. That's a really big deal, protecting the king's daughter. <laughs> no pressure. Seriously, though, the princess is a strong personality. So strong, she can't quite see the range for the peaks. Remember that, and you'll be fine. <laughs> huh? What the? All the broken bones. <laughs> Reverse Hadouken. All right. So what was I saying? 
That was a little strange. As far as I know, Death Mountain has been quiet for decades. But if the mountain is shivering enough to send down a bunch of boulders that size, then never mind. Forget I said anything. You know what I just realized? All right, I'm gonna finish the pit bull thing. Um, a lot of the, like they'll come from a fighting ring, you know, and then they become therapy dogs, which is amazing to think about the kind of loyalty and trust that they have just for humanity and forgiveness that they can do to be like, yo, I trust people and I love people enough that I can forgive all that torture crap that I was put through and then become a therapy dog that goes and helps people. That's amazing. And like, yeah, I saw your, the miniature pincer barked and got scared. Yeah, uh, Jada, when she was, I think, 14 weeks, uh, she met my... I've, I've told this story on stream before, but you guys don't know. Um, I had a friend come over, and she brought her, I think she was 14 months old, her daughter, over to hang out for a little bit and uh, wanted to meet Jada and stuff because she was a puppy. And, you know, Jada's all small and wiggly and being puppy. And... Uh, Talia, the 14-month-old, was just learning to walk. So she was still didn't have her balance quite right and stuff. And um, the first thing, like, she came in and Jada's being good. And she's, you know, little babies, like, smacking her on the head or whatever. And Jada's just, like, all excited because she's getting attention. And then at some point, like, I turned to walk away or something for something. And then Jada's like, oh, dad's leaving. So she turned around real quick and it knocked Talia down. And, you know, Talia fell on her butt and, she, you know, she got flustered and worried. So she started crying and immediately Jada's reaction to that is she turned, looked at Talia and then laid down. And I was like, you are such a good puppy. I didn't even have to teach you that. You were just like something happened and this is a small person here and I don't know how to react to it. So I'm just going to lay down. And it was awesome. Not like lay, lay down, like play, like actually just lay down and just was like waiting for her like a response and I was like man and they're just fantastic dogs and you guys will see like pit bull facts and stuff roll up on chat every now and then uh because they have a soft spot in my heart as well oh that was a long rant what's going into you highly ensure a strange anyway you know was actually descended of the great Daruk. that's why the slacker can even use Daruk's protection he uses it to protect himself when we fire him at Rajania. that's the only way we can chase the blasted beast away we have no choice because normal cannonballs are no good against him. All right, that's enough out of me. Time to drive off from uh, 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 uh. You all right? Uh, just peachy. Dumb traveler, of course. No, okay. Oh, uh, I'm afraid I won't be going anywhere today. I did put you on the spot, but can you please tell you know boy that I'm gonna have to cancel for today? You should be at Elden Bridge. All right, that's the bridge. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, we don't deserve dogs. Dogs are freaking blessing on this world, man. You've gone on pit bull rants without pit bulls? Uh, I like you. <laughs> they're, they're incredible dogs, man. All right, I need to go to the right. Did you guys see that the new Pixar short? Uh, featuring a pit bull. Oh man, that that thing. Whoa, what's that thing? Made me ball my eyes out. Like, no, I know this is gonna end. I don't. I gotta finish it. <gasps> Replay. This is a good one. We haven't seen a Korok all stream. That looks something I don't want to step on. Yeah, it's uh, Jade has changed the minds of uh, a few people that didn't like pit bulls. Jada was actually really great um, when I was fostering too. Like she helped train a lot of dogs, and I had some dogs that did not trust people at all. One of them was especially bad. Her name was Penny. She didn't trust people. She would not come within 20 foot, 20 feet of a person. But if a dog was around, she'd come within five feet. And she did not like people around her. So we think she was beaten or something. She didn't like brooms. So I think some, cause she was a stray. They found her on the street. 
Um, I think that like maybe some old, some person ch chased her off with brooms or something, but like Penny got to see how Jada just trusted me. And I think Jada really helped her learn to trust people. And she also helped train a lot of the other dogs I got, like on how to wait for food, kennel training, you know, behaving and all that stuff. Um, my mom actually adopted one of my fosters as well. And she is a staffy pit mix. And she's adorable too. She's a wiggle ward though. Man, that dog is crazy. She's well behaved. She's a good dog. She's just crazy excitable. Although that could be when I just come over. And she's like, oh my gosh, it's you. She gets all excited. <laughs> Picks up hearts your soul. I know, like they just destroy you, right? But it's a good kind of destruction. Yeah, go look up Kitbull. K-I-T-B-U-L-L. -L. Uh, just go away. Thing You're gonna light me on fire. Uh, just prepare to have some tissues on hand because it might wreck you. Because they're only allowed two pets because the cat does not like it. It'll scratch you. Oh, yep. I've se I've, I've seen that a th kind of thing with cats in general. That one, your friend's cat is probably more to the extreme. I've known so many cats that you can just like pet, pet. Pet. Okay, that was one too many pets. And they bite the crap out of your hand. But I understand, like, animals been abused. You gotta, you gotta work with them, you know? You gotta go on their terms. I actually just got a... I saw an update a couple weeks ago of one of my fosters. Big meatloaf dog. Such a doofus. Uh, his name was Stouffer. And, uh... He... Is that where I'm supposed to go? Yeah. Um... Forgot what I was saying. Something about Stouffer. Oh, right. Uh, he was a Great Dane, Staffy mix, and some other stuff, too. But a big, tall dog, kind of meaty. And the first I had him, he put a dent in my trash can with his big, meaty head. He split open my forehead once because he head-bonked me when he was wrestling. And, uh, I just got, for my, the rescue organization I worked for, one of the, the people that eventually adopted him, uh, sent pictures in of, uh, him. And this was many years ago. Uh, I think I had him f six years ago? Five or, four to six years ago I had him. And they sent in pictures of him. And, uh, I was like, man, I missed that meathead. He was goofy. He, he was a goofy dog. Are these two black ones? Great. This is gonna suck. Someone please help me! I don't want to fight two of these guys. Death from above! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! I should be fighting you with stronger weapons because this thing sucks and you're black moblin. Nope! Eee! Oh. Come down here, stupid. Hi. Stop healing! It's not fair. Uh. Oh! Death from above! These guys are easier than they should be. I shouldn't be doing this much damage. Oh! Oh wait, we gotta play games. We gotta play games. Oh! oh okay, kicking the fist. Why can't I switch this? Ha ha! Pause! I'm dead. I'm dead! Eee! No, lock onto this guy! Oh god. I need to eat food. I'm gonna die. This is what you get when you're trying to do stupid fancy stuff. Evasive. Crazy person. No. Stop it. Ow! Just. I just ate a bunch of food, man. Stop. Don't growl at me. Eat it! Oh god. I didn't catch it. No, that's my weapon, you jerk! Alright. We're doing this live. Ow! Stop! Oh my god, I'm a pleb. Arbosa! Oh, that's what I was gonna say. I didn't get Arbosa's fury. 
See? Why am I not getting your Bros' Fury? Give me your stuff! I need it! That's my weapon! Give it back! Jerk. Mm. Yeah, he was a big old boy. You want the Twilight Princess Wolf? Uh, that's one of my emo emo emobos. Amobies. Amiibos, there's the word. And my camera's off. Um that I have is the Twilight Princess Link. Uh the wolf link. Here. Stupid camera. I swear that's turned off more than 30 minutes. I figured out. Oh, you're crazy strong, bro. We can pick up this stuff before it burns. That's my weapon. They stole it. How rude. Hey, dude. Thanks for saving me, brother. I wouldn't have been in real trouble if you hadn't shown up when you did, Goro. Uh, still no sign of boss, eh? He's coming. Huh? Oh, he's not coming. Huh? Not coming. But why, Goro? His back hurts. Oh. After we through all that trouble to get him, the painkillers didn't even end up working, Goro. Well, if boss can't help, there's nothing else we can do. I suppose I'll head back now. Wait a minute. Mm. Huh? You're not going back? But why, Goro? I want to board Rudania. Huh? What? You're going to try to board the Divine Beast? What do you think you are, Lord Daruk? It's dangerous in there, Goro. Mm. Though I guess if you weaken it first, it might be possible. But why risk it? Let me explain to you that I am badass hero of time. Mm. Well, I don't really get it, but I'm sure you have your reasons, Goro. Oh. The problem is good old boss raised the bridge of... The Lord... Oh, God. Elden, I can barely read that. To make sure that he didn't mean... Uh, <sighs> Redo. To make sure that mean Divine Beast couldn't get over here. I'm really? I'm pretty sure I could just walk across it. In order to get to where Donnie is, you'll have to find a way to the Bridge of Elden back down, Goro. Boss would normally use the cannon to lower it. Uh, we can't get across it means we figure something out. If boss can't come down here, and he can't use the cannon to lower the bridge, that means we're out of luck, Goro. Oh. oh, it occurs to me that you know how to use the cannons, don't you, Goro? Look at that creepy smile. Maybe he can get across after all. So let's just see what I can do to help boss sometimes. That means I'm going to be the cannonball and you launch me, Goro. Oh. I've got Drake's protection, Goro. My answers can't help... Er, my answer's help can't possibly fail me. There it is. That means I can smash anything and it won't hurt me one bit, Goro. My answer to Daruk was a big deal, Goro. That's what boss says, so we just gotta be true. And I can use Daruk's protection just like Daruk could. That means there's no need to worry, Goro. So rest easy, okay? Well, go on then. Take aim at the Bridge of Elden and fire away, Goro. Just so you know, be kind of gentle about it. Oh man, that guy talks. He stole your weapons, I steal your life. <laughs> you have the Legend of Zelda with potion lamps? It changes colors? That's awesome! Oh, uh, you should post a picture in the Discord. If you want. That sounds awesome. Alright, buddy. Oops. Apparently I dropped a bomb over there. Here you go. Oh, snap. Get wrecked! No, that is... I just launched him into the... the... Sorry, buddy. That couldn't have felt good. Hiya! Oops. That was bad. Uh, gotta switch, gotta switch. BAM! And, oh, I'm shooting it at the bridge. <laughs> I'm, tr I'm trying to attack Rudania because I'm a dummy. Bang! Done. There's Jin mom is doing her potato sleep. That's how you know when Jin mom is just actually gonna go to sleep. She rolls on her back like that. Is he now she's all twitching. Man, look at his small ass legs. He skips leg day. We did it. See that, Goro. We put our heads together. Yeah, anything is possible. Mm. That power I got from my hand, sister. The Rook's protection is really is something else, isn't it? Anyhow, I guess my time as a cannonball isn't over just yet, Goro. So let's get a move on and cross that bridge together, Goro. Nadia! Wow, I didn't know there was 
YouTube alerts were still hooked up. Thank you for the subscribe on YouTube. I appreciate it.